Star Hill. Most model railways are manually controlled. A person decides what will happen. In this layout, the trains decide how they will run over the circuits. Detectors under the track are triggered by the trains passing over them, and these send pulses to control signals, points, isolating tracks and station stops. In this way, two trains can share the circuits without collisions. The relative speeds of the trains, together with an automatic routing selector unit, add interest by introducing a random element. The Star Hill layout uses infrared sensors and electronic controllers to operate the trains, points and signals. There are seven signals, 14 points, seven infrared sensors, five controllers, eight relays, 12 track brakes for isolation and six illuminated buffers. The points are powered by capacitor discharge and can also be operated by a remote control panel. Let's run trains through the control sequence. The express train actuates infrared sensor IR4 which triggers the automatic routing selector ARS1. Signal 7 is switched along with points 1 and 6. On the outer loop IR1 triggers the station stop controller SA8 number 1 and lights the direction indicator on signal 4. Signal 5 is set to red. IR2 triggers SA8 number 1 and brings the express to a stop at the platform. SA8 1 flashes during the stopping time. Signal 1 changes to green and the train leaves the station. It passes signal 4, then the signal controller MAS1, which changes signal 4 to red. The train arrives again at IR4, which again triggers the automatic routing selector. Signal 7 changes, along with point number 1. Meanwhile, the goods train actuates IR3, which triggers the station stop controller SA8 number 2. Arriving at IRP2, it is brought to a halt. While SA8 number 2 holds it at the station, points 3A and 3B change. Points 5A and 5B change. SA82 finishes the stop sequence, signal 3 changes to green, and the goods train moves off. Passing signal 5, it actuates MAS2, which switches signal 5 to red and turns the direction indicator off through RL4. Crossing points 5A and B, it reaches IR3 again. The express train has been waiting on an isolated section. IR3 powers the track and switches signal 2 to green. The goods train then passes the station at speed on the inside track and actuates IR5, which sets signal 6 to green. The goods train passes signal 6, then actuates IR3, which sets signal 6 to red. Let's see the trains running again. <laughs> 